Hello everybody and welcome to this do-it-yourself exercise. In these exercises the goal is to learn about the color matrix effect. We are going to use the color matrix effect to apply to amplify the green of our image. As a second exercise we are going to convert an image to grayscale. Next we are going to use a filter effect the color image effect to convert our image to a negative, to invert the red, green and blue colors. And as a final, we are going to convert all the parts which are not green to transparent. So have a, a pause the video if you want to try it yourself. Good luck. See you in a moment. Okay, let's get started. Let's click the first photograph to amplify the green and go to filters, filter editor and create a new filter, name it amp green and resize the filter editor a bit and add the color matrix. If I apply it, there's a rendering glitch. Let's double click on one of these numbers to fix the glitch. Now the goal is to amplify the green. Recall that the column values correspond to the input and the output, the row values correspond to the output. So we want to keep the red the same amount. So the red will uh, stay red and the blue will stay blue but the green values we want to keep them green but just amplify them so let's choose a value of 1,5 here the alpha channels stay constant so we leave it also as 1 Next, let's create a filter which converts our image to grayscale. I'm going to click on new and I'm going to rename the filter to grayscale. I'm going to add a color matrix again. I can use saturate to make my image grayscale, but that's too easy. So for the sake of the exercise, we are going to use a matrix. This way we will learn something. We are going to add uh, the red and the green and the blue in equal measure. We want red, green and blue all to have the same value that will result in various shades of gray. That means that uh, the top three rows will be identical. I want each red intensity, green intensity and blue in Intensity to contribute in equal measure to the grayscale, so I'm going to modify the values so that each uh, each color, red, green, and blue, contributes the same amount, and the output will also be the same for red, green, and blue. And there we have it, a grayscale image. In order to create a negative of our image, we are going to invert the red, green and blue values. Let's create a new filter and name it negative and add a color matrix. So we want uh, the amount of red to be a negative. We want the amount of blue to be negative and we want the amount of, excuse me, green and we want the amount of blue to be negative as well. Let's see what effect that has. The, what happened is that all the color was taken 
out of the picture all the red was taken out all the green was taken out and all the blue was taken out the opacity remains constant so in order to prevent too much color to be taken away we want to add an offset so we're going to add a constant offset so that the picture becomes quite light oops that's too much and once the picture is very light then we take away the red and we take away the green and we take away the blue and that results in a negative image in the final exercise we want to take the parts which are not green and make them transparent so let's give it a try i'm going to click on new and i'm going to re rename that to non green to transparent and i'm going to add the color matrix and what i want is i want to keep the red green and blue the same but i want to make the red transparent recall that the last row represents the opacity and everywhere where there's red in the image i want to decrease the opacity so i'm going to add a negative one here also everywhere where there is blue in the image i want to decrease the opacity i'm going to add a negative one here as well everywhere where there's green in the image uh, there i don't want to decrease the opacity so i keep it at zero so now the opacity has been decreased by quite a lot uh, let's add a little offset of 0 0,8 to increase the opacity again and here we have the result we see that the opacity in the bounding box is uh, where there's no image is quite high and there are no colors there so we have a transparent black box in order to get rid of that box we can go to the filter general settings and set the coordinates to zero and the dimensions to one each and here we have our image where the non-green parts have become transparent which was the last exercise for now thanks for watching see you in the next exercise bye bye